What's going on everyone? My name is Guchimus and welcome back to Zero Escape 999. And in this episode, uh, we are going to go through this uh, engine room or whatever again until we can find whatever we're looking for. So, I'll see you then. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not going to just get better right away, you know? What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Oh yeah, Asa does talk to us about a few things here. Maybe th this will be a little different. <sighs> it's got to be well, exhaustion. Maybe? We'll see. She gets dropped into some weird ass ship. For That's all the same. It, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her. So you're saying that is we're weird. abnormal? Yeah, you guys are fucking freaks. Yeah, we're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. Mm, you are doing that. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. Mm. A guinea pig. You mean like a lab rat? Yeah, totally. You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Yeah, is that what you're saying? Kind of game. Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, speaking of experiments. Oh yeah, I think I don't think I've heard this before. Speaking there of experiments. There was this experiment some scientists did with rats. Ooh. Okay. No, this is definitely new. First. They took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. That's fucked up. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Okay. Exit A is pitch black. So dark, even a rat can't see anything. Damn. It's fucked up. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. Ugh. That's fucked up, okay. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? It would go for B first. Actually, it'd probably only go for B. Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. Yeah. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Good which shot. means the rat can't get out that way. Yeah. So, after a lot of trial and error... Mm. This come, means a lot coming from you, Santa, because I think you're the mastermind now. The rat finally finds exit A. Uh-huh. Mm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. Yeah, Ace has a point here. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. <laughs> uh, you didn't say it wasn't relevant. Hmm? See... These scientists repeated this experiment over and over. Same rats or different rats? Using hundreds of different rats over oh, several generations. Okay. This produced some surprising results. Tell me. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. We're Eventually, learning. a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. Damn. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. Is this the same thing as the Ice Nine and the dog painting? No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. Oh. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. Damn, okay. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. That is so weird. What did it mean? I wonder if this is true or if they're just making stuff up for the game. Are you suggesting something like hmm. telepathy? Yeah. They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? That is... That's like the fourth or fifth time I've heard about this shit. <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. Yeah. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Seriously.
He was hey, a worry about June until he stuck you. a gun to her head. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Mm. Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. Oh. They could have just used a dry box, you know? And then there's no incentive for them to leave. If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have... I don't know. Giving them cheese or something at the end of it? Put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? Seriously. You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever what? think about that? Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And uh -huh. to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Makes sense. And it, we've already kind of went over the fact that they want us to like have epiphanies in these games. I just don't really get why. Yeah. Maybe they're testing if we have these psychic abilities. That's why the rats had to drown. The only thing I could think they of. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. They might have actually said that already. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's not just with humans. It's with rats. It's with laundry detergent, even. Yeah, I forgot about the laundry detergent story. Man. Very strange. Am I done here? I think I'm done here. I don't want to go through this whole puzzle again. I am done here. Okay, cargo room. Coffin, nine photos. Oh, excuse me. Okay, well, let's check it out. I'm not sure exactly everything I'll need to do, but now that I got the key before that, should pretty much just walk right into it, I think. Hey! June, are you okay? Wait, is this new? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. I think this is new. You finish the box thing, alright? Yeah, finish the box uh, thing, Ace. Uh, Just put the cards in the boxes. Seriously, man, I'm don't counting be... on you. Have you been paying attention, Ace? I thought you were an Ace. Are you alright? What happened? June? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just Good. tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. Just tripped. Yeah, I don't remember her ever saying that. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. No, the boxes are our friends. They would never trip you. Just let me see for a sec. Huh. You're still warm. Ah, happy. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Santa, I don't even believe you. Still, to fall ever. down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. Yeah. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Are you trying to, like, hit on June also? Because I could kill you. Well, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. I'm pretty sure it's medicine. new. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. What are you talking about? Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. What did you say? Pharmaceutical company? The same pharmaceutical company that did that experiment nine years ago? That pharmaceutical company? Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Oh, no, no. Different one. Right? Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Soparil? Soparil. Soparil. I've heard of that before somewhere. Where did we hear that? Soparil. <gasps> it's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. 
A lot like how nitrous oxide is. Anesthetic? That's a gas at room temperature? What the fuck? Oh wait, yeah, okay, no, that's a normal thing, sorry. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. <sighs> a bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It's like knockout gas? Or it can be? It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. Damn, that's fucked up. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. Ah, uh, I don't know. I see that being used in protest to fucking knock everyone out. I don't think that'd be very ethical. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. Right. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Damn. Demand for soparil skyrocketed, and of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceutical stock did too. Yeah, of course. Makes sense. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From he Ace? told you? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. I have a hard time believing he would just tell you Remember all this. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? Mm-hmm. It was back then. <laughs> Excuse me. I asked him what he did for a living. Ugh. He said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Really? Interesting. Huh. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. I'm worried because I don't think that was the same name. It was a different pharmaceutical company. Uh, Ace, are you really that dumb? What the hell is he doing? You really can't remember everyone's June, number? Don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Jesus Santa, Christ, could Ace. you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. Seriously. Can't believe he's having that much trouble. That's freaking hilarious. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. Oh, come what on. What can't you see well? These pictures. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. What the hell's that? Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. All I'm right, man. I'm awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. Well, how could simply looking at cards have tired him out? That's weird. Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Uh. I thought he just didn't remember Press everyone's number. What's up, Peg? Oh, that's a thing where you can't recognize people's faces. Put simply, it means, it means a, condition a condition where the where mind, mind can't, can't distinguish between human faces. Mm. He has that. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. That is fucking weird. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Oh my god. He has prosopagnosia. Maybe. Maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Ah, uh, I think so. Huh. <sighs> Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Yeah, seriously. Oh well. Not bum me out if I couldn't recognize people by their face. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Yeah. Ace's card is in box one, Snake's is in number two. I just need to do the same for the rest. Yeah, pretty much. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. Do it. Wonder if we're done now. Yeah! Oh, they opened! What the? Nine... And yeah, now anymore? we just have the pins again. So I think we are going to be done here now. Yes! We have it unlocked, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. But how is what we did going to avoid... It's getting stabbed to death. That's what I want to know. I thought we find the keys, but the doors are already unlocked. I still don't really know who killed us. 
Huh. Leave no one behind. All right. Well, let's uh, jump up here, I guess. This may be good. Maybe a good thing. I don't know. I hope so. Look, it's. What is it? Seven and Lotus. Are they still alive? We've got a problem. Uh oh. Clover is gone. Oh, fuck. What, what do you mean, gone? Where'd when? she go? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah. We did. We went through the door together. Oh, no, they did. Yeah. But Clover barely spoke to us. Fuck. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. <sighs> There were four ah. rooms on the other side of door one. I haven't been able to console Clover this whole time, so she's probably losing it. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said... And shut the... She must and have she took off. Yeah, I gotcha. We called for her... So I... But didn't answer, mm. kicked down the door... Empty. Empty. Clover. There was a door... Wasn't and it was there. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left... Uh, and then she took Obviously off. We didn't find her. We figured that much. Clover's... Yeah, this is all the same. Certainly. So you haven't... This is all the same. We skip. Very well. We haven't much time left. Yeah. All right, let's start looking for Clover again, and hopefully we don't get killed again. She's not here. No. Sh All right. Shower room. That's where her brother Shower was. Room. She might have. Got, well. Did we check here before. Good. This we might be new. We should thank Seven later. Yeah, thanks Seven. Love you. Okay. Yeah, this is new. This is new. We did not come back no here luck. last time. Yeah, I don't think she's here. Fuck. The smell is horrible. Let's Damn check it. the back. Just. To... Yeah. No, she's not here. Maybe she came in here to check Snake. the body. She saw it wasn't his body because of the arm. Just where did your sister go? Ah, uh, such a horrible way to go. Seriously. So the left arm's hideously twisted. Oh god. Yeah, I mean, I know, dude. It's bad. Wait, bones. My brother's left arm is. Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. Mm. The accident hurt him really bad. Okay. Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Jumpy? Yeah, it's not him. Yeah, and she did tell us about his left oh, arm, sorry so... sorry for making you wait. At least that makes sense. Could have been able to figure it out, like, right away, but... No. I missed it. <sighs> Junpei! June! Where were you guys? I was down did, the hall. Did something happen? Clover is... Clover is dead. Oh fuck, she's dead? Oh I found no. Her in the first class bathroom. Oh shit. Oh god, I need to take a quick break here. Oh wait, he's doing that himself. That's way better painting than I'm doing. <laughs> oh god. Clover, why? <gasps> what the fuck? Uh? Clover. Oh, is this whoever Clover. has the knife right now? God, where was the knife? What path was the knife down? Why? Why did this happen? It was in the kitchen, right? It was in the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? Where the hell is the kitchen? No, it can't be in there. Wait, it could be actually. Someone probably has the gun now at this point, right? Or maybe this, that was this path. I think the gun was actually down this path. We left it there. So nobody should have the fucking gun. Right? Yeah. Where's the kitchen? Captain's quarters. Operating room. Laboratory. 
kitchen. Who went with me down this path? What was this path? First class cabin and casino. This was only, uh, fucking seven and snake. Yeah. Damn, any of those could have guys could have had the knife besides seven and snake, and snake is pretty much gone right now. I have no idea where snake is. Ugh. Okay, well, he's dead. Clover. That's yeah, kind of fucked up. I mean, what the hell's going on around here? No way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Please. We're probably gonna run into like five more dead people now. So I don't know. That's how the last ending was. Every time we turned our back, another person was dead. Are you all right? Yes. I, I think so. Ugh, oh, fuck me. You should get some rest. Here, the bed. I don't know if rest is the best Can thing right sit? now. Getting the fuck out yes. would be the best thing right now. Who was the first to find the body? Good question. Me. Seven? Yeah, seven. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover. Why else? Uh. I found her body in the bathroom. Shit. As soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Oh, damn. Hey, guys! I found her, but it's bad! Ah, uh, fuck. Everybody in this group... I don't know, besides... Could have just be Santa. I don't know. Whoever... Killed us in the really bad ending, the submarine ending. They were smoking. Nobody She's has in the been bathroom of the first yet. class cabin. Come quick! <sighs> something like that. Quick or something like that. Uh. Then I went back to the bathroom. Okay. Maybe Santa and Lotus showed up real soon after that. Mm -hmm. I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that. I I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven. Sure. Th there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Yeah, he's blocked a lot of the doors. Why did you Not do all of them. Come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. Uh, yeah. So we could come back to this room? Oh. You think I did it? Uh, it's just a question. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. Seven did not do it. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? Okay, you out. are hostile as fuck. <sighs> Follow me. A closet? Oh, the safe! Yeah. Oh my god, this I the reason. completely it forgot about that safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. That's right, we could not when we went through with Snake. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door five again. Yeah, I mean, that's smart. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yes, I get it, Seven. Yeah. I understand completely. Figured it wouldn't open. Huh? This is... What is it? Rust. Rust? If, if there's, there's rust, rust here, here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? What do you mean? I don't get your logic. I'm not following. Uh, huh? Hmm. <sighs> Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Ugh, God. Behind this door. The ninth man's body is behind there. 
I mean, we know the knife was in the kitchen, so it was not seven, right? Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Yeah, you should have grabbed the bracelet. Yeah. That way you all can get through the door. Oh, the hell? This, this smell is... Oh. They really didn't oh. know that at the beginning of the game. Oh, oh I puked. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, that turned my stomach a little bit. Oh, God. Wonderful. I love the blood. Wait. Wait, what? It's, it's gone. The bracelet? It's bracelet. It's gone. Damn it. You grabbed it sooner. You grabbed it, was it right then. Next to the glasses. Took it. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Ah, uh, that bracelet is hella important. Without it, we can't all escape. Uh. Mm. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Uh. Yeah. Did you find something? Not really. Uh, no, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. What is it, Seven? What is it? What do you need? Uh, Clover. Let me look at Clover again? Why? <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. Mm -hmm. Shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. Let me guess, she's missing her bracelet. And I found this. What? What? Junpei, stop copying me. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Yeah, you are a cop. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. You borrowed one thing? What truth the fuck? had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. Sinister hand again? What is this? Some kind of secret code? What the fuck does that even mean? Hmm. Where did she find code. that? Sinister hand means... Oh shit. Is it, what hand do we have the things on? I think it's the left hand, right? Or was it the right hand? Left hand? Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. Oh, uh, okay. Left hand. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Yeah, does the that is. Does the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? That's what I'm thinking. The bracelet is on the left hand. There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Yeah. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister room. Truth. Gone. Hmm. Truth. Gone. What does it want me to get? Maybe those two words. Gone had truth? What else could gone and truth be? Switching the sentence around. Reading it out loud. Truth. No, we did that. What else could gone and truth mean? What else could gone and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct. Something that's fact. In other words, yeah. something that is right. Yes, has to be correct. You could then safely assume that gone means left. Yeah. Something that's correct had left. After all, after someone left, they were gone. That, Junpei, you are fucking twisting your mind into a pretzel right now. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Directional homonyms? Then truth equals right. 
and gone equals left. What? Ah! The left and right of the bracelet. Junpei, you are a fucking genius, man. I don't know how you are coming up with this. These two things sticking out. Yeah, they... So if I... Press them in the following order. Truth had gone. Truth had gone. Oh no, if I fuck this up. Am I gonna get my bracelet off? Hold up. Mm. Let me look at these files real quick. I gotta look at this note. The four separate... Oh, that's a different note. It's not here. Shit, the note's not here. Uh, right, left, right, left. Truth is gone. The truth is right. Left. Truth had gone. Yeah, that's it. Right, left, right, left, right. That's a really easy code, too. Uh. One? Four? Are you kidding me? I can change my number? I'm number one. Wait, did it just? Oh my God. I can change my number. We can all change our numbers. Oh no, it's staying at one. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Oh no, it's a code. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Is that the code for the save? Huh? Hey. What are those numbers? Hmm. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Jupe, you are a genius, man. You are putting me to shame. Try the safe, three, I eight, guess. Three, four, two, one. one, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Yeah. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. 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 Yes, that's the numbers. One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. Yes, that's it. One four three eight three four two <sighs> one. One to the right. Four, four to the left. Three and eight oh. three four two one. <clears throat> Where did you find that note, Clover? Bingo! I knew it was for this. That is. The hardest fucking puzzle I've ever even considered. I don't know. Maybe, like, if I was trying to figure it out myself, but just how he figured truth meant right, gone meant left. That is just weird. That is very weird. Oh, is this some sort of note? Oh, I got it open. Let's see. Fact number one. The notary game was played once before nine years ago. I kind of... I kind of got that. Fact number two. The person with the number two bracelet attended game the game nine years ago. Yeah, we do know that as well. Clover told us. Fact number three. It was played by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO. Gentaro Honjero. Shit, so Ace played it before. The guy who bought the Gigantic? Is that who that is? Cradle Pharmaceutical's Chief of Staff. Who the fuck is that? Nagisa... Nijisaki. I guess that could be any of them because we don't know their real names. Cradle Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor. Hirakuya Kubota. Majority Shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals. 
Hijisaki Mushaido. I must punish them. For the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. Excuse me? Huh. So those four people are here right now? You know Ace is the CEO, if we believe Santa. The owner of the ship, which we're assuming is the captain, dude with the mustache, he's dead. The other two, I do not know who they are, but they're here. So if they're not with us, that could have been one of the people that killed us in the submarine ending. Mm. It's all Sorry, making sense. Do you think you could all come with me? It's all coming together. Come with you? It's coming together for me. I can only imagine Junpei figured everything out by now. I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. Wait. Oh, Junpei doesn't know about Ace in this playthrough, does he? Shit, I can't remember. What? What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Shit. Santa has to be... God, he doesn't seem like a chief of staff or anything, but I don't know. Wait, then you're saying... Why would they bring... S if this is some act of revenge, why would they bring Seven? Seven was trying to help the kids. Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I... I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. Is it Ace? I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. I think it's Ace. You had opportunity to get the knife. He's... Oh, why would he kill them now, though? I don't know. Jumpy, explain it to me. <laughs> Let me know. It's five o'clock. Is it now? How long have I been fucking recording? Oh god, a long time. Well, shit guys. I guess that's it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully we get more answers in the next episode. Love you guys. See ya.